Hi guys and welcome to my YouTube channel ESP Daniela of where I talk about everything related to education, financial aid, professional development, even like tech advice, whatever I feel like doing for that particular day. So for today's video, I will be talking about the top 10 ways to save money as a student. So let's get into this. So first up on this list is student discounts. Now, there are actually two apps that you should consider downloading. They're totally free of where you can locate student discounts at all of these major companies that you're probably already shopping at. So the first one is Unidays, and then the other one is Student Beans. And so you can easily go to their website or their app and see which companies, which stores that they provide discounts from. And these might vary from 10% off, 25% off or even like 40 to 50% off. It all depends on which company. And with that in mind, if you are not already, make it a habit to carry around with you your student ID. A lot of local businesses might support the school within that area and are willing to give student discounts. So make sure to do that. I have saved hundreds and hundreds of dollars eating out, going to movie theaters or whatever else just by showing my student ID. And speaking of eating, this leads me to my second point, which is when you are eating out, try to control yourself, try to limit how much you are eating at that particular time. So what I like to do is that I'll eat half of my meal or perhaps even one third of my meal at that moment and then the rest of it will be leftovers for dinner or lunch the next day. It also helps for when you are eating out to see which hours are their happy hours so that you can get the same food but for a couple of dollars cheaper. And again, tying into food, if you are in college or perhaps still in K-12 education, consider using your public food pantry. Now, a lot of universities have like their own food pantry and during my freshman and sophomore year, I would especially use that a lot of times and they had food that I was already buying on my own so why not just get it free from the school I mean you're already paying thousands and thousands of dollars just to attend that prestigious university and on that note a lot of my content here on YouTube talks about financial aid scholarships specifically because I've won a whole bunch for myself and helped other people win even more than myself millions and millions of dollars so make sure to check that out and I have a book and an online course that you can consider looking into as well which will be linked in the bio description okay so now let's talk about textbooks now a lot of times when in college you're not gonna really be needing that textbook but for those that you will need that you will have to buy or at least get the first thing that you want to do is to check with your library at your school do this physically and preferably first online their digital database and see if they have what you need now let's say that your library at your school has a book you need but it's not the edition that the professor prefers for their class let's say the professor wants the ninth edition of the textbook but they only have the eighth edition a lot of people don't know this but the earlier edition of textbooks tend to be almost nearly identical like they literally just flip flop the subject titles for the previous version and then have that as the reverse in the newer version so you might as well just learn from the previous version or if you have to actually buy it get the older edition as well but before even doing that make sure to first check online and compare the table of contents to see how parallel they are if you see that there's like a drastic change then you probably should go ahead and get that newest edition and as far as comparing prices for which textbooks are cheaper typically the digital ebooks are cheaper than physical because you don't have to account for printing costs and all that and there are certain websites that you can use to compare the price of textbooks such as bigwords.com which I totally recommend I use this all the time especially freshman sophomore year when I was buying textbooks another thing I want to say about buying food as a student a lot of times the generic brands that are seen in stores especially like if you're going to walmart and like great value equates things like that they are nearly identical to the brand name product see oftentimes these products are manufactured by the same companies in the same warehouses and they just slap on the brand name label for this one so that's why that one's more expensive versus this one being less expensive just because it doesn't have the brand name associated with it now of course this is hit or miss there are certain products like things that you're going to be eating of where the brand name will clearly taste better and then the off brand will just taste like just not good but there are other products from my experience that have been like identical or even like the generic brand was better than the brand name so as an example of this there are quite a few youtubers on here who blind test generic 
versus brand name brands and when they are blind testing it's basically like a 50 50 percent chance that they'll say oh this one's better or the off brand is better so as you can see they're made with 90 to 100 percent of the same ingredients so you might as well consider saving money by going with generic brands now if you don't want to do all generic brands but like eventually phase it out i would recommend buying like one or two products that you usually buy just to see how it tastes in comparison and then build up from there this is what i did so i first started out with potato wave chips i usually would get like lays and i was like let me just try out uh this generic brand and it was in my opinion exactly the same and then i tried it with fritos exactly the same or even certain ice creams exactly the same so make sure that you consider doing that now let's talk about coupon code hacks now there are quite a few content creators here on like youtube or other platforms alike especially on tiktok of where they are literally professional couponers and they will buy like 300 dollars worth of groceries but then at the end of that only spend three dollars because they have all these coupons stacked so i will list here about five content creators that you should definitely consider following if you want to save money via coupons and like promo codes and things like that next up is shopping on amazon now i buy so much honestly too much on amazon i need to do better but again with amazon just as how i said earlier with the coupon people there are people who specifically have content relating to how to save money on Amazon. So if you are someone like me who is constantly using Amazon Prime all the time, then here are five content creators that I definitely recommend that you follow and learn from so that you can save some money on Amazon. And speaking of Amazon, which ties into this next way to save money as a student, this relates to scholarships. So Amazon has a $40,000 scholarship specifically for students studying STEM. And so my content on social media primarily started off with scholarship advice. And I have had the privilege of mentoring not one, but two students who were able to win this $40,000 scholarship from Amazon. So make sure that you are applying for scholarships. Make sure to check out my YouTube videos my book because one of those students mentioned she was able to win that $40,000 scholarship as a result of the strategies mentioned in my scholarship strategy book which details how I was able to win 30 between undergrad and grad school and I even have an online course which gives you all these other details and ways on how to win scholarships and drastically increase your chances of winning up to 10 times more. So consider checking that out and if you are interested all that will be linked in the bio description down below. Okay so next up again ties back into money. Now if you are not already using a credit card I highly recommend that you start doing it and I know I know just how tempting it is to only use debit cards and never credit cards because no one really feels like having these monthly payments being pulled from their account they would rather just pay for it up front and get it over with that's the case for me but by using credit cards or even like cashback apps you get a certain percent back from your purchase which is basically like a partial refund or you can get other perks like discounts on your next flight, which is especially helpful if you are a out of state student and you have to fly to and from your school to home. So I highly recommend that you start using credit cards. And here are some credit cards that I highly recommend that you start using specifically for students. And you don't have to use them like all at the same time. It might just be one or two to start off with, but try to depend less on debit cards because with credit cards, you're at least getting part of your money back. Now this next tip to save money, not only as a student, but just anyone really who specifically has like medication is coming from the billionaire Mark Cuban, who is like the owner of the Dallas Mavericks. I am based in Texas, by the way, North Texas. So I always know about him. But anywho, he recently created this online pharmacy and the website is called costplusdrugs.com. And so essentially with this website, it gets rid of the middlemen in between the process of you getting the certain medication that you need to help survive. And as a result of that, it makes it a lot cheaper. So as an example, Mark Cuban recently retweeted over this tweet of where the original tweet said that Mark Cuban just saved their life by making their seizure medication more affordable. So if you are a student or anyone else alike who has certain prescribed medication, you perhaps don't have insurance and you need a better outlet to get the things that you want legally but for significantly cheaper sometimes hundreds and hundreds of dollars cheaper consider looking into this website now i don't believe that they have every single prescribed drug out there available but for those that they do consider 
using it to save a lot of money. And finally, to end off this video, this is perhaps the reason why you are not saving money and that is because you spend too much time being out. See, I don't know what it is, but anytime I go out, I see myself spending anywhere between 50 to $200 a day. So I like to keep myself inside, or if I do go outside, it'll just be like generic places that don't require for me to pay something, like going to the gym, going to the library. So if you're someone who constantly has to be out, which I encourage, because you know you gotta get your sunlight and all that, try to be in places that don't require money because you will find yourself spending a lot of money if you do, especially if you're trying to drive now during inflation you're going to be spending a lot of money when you could have been saving that. Anywho, that's all for today's video. I hope that this was helpful and informative. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and comment down below with future video suggestions. And again, make sure to check out all the resources I have linked in my bio. I have had the privilege of impacting so many students, thousands and thousands of students across the globe, and I hope that you can also be one of them. So that's it. Bye.